you've probably experienced it, most of us have, a burning pressure in your chest, burping with a sour acid taste, and the pain gets worse if you lie down or bend over. It usually occurs after a big meal, but no matter the cause, you just want it to go away. Fast. Today we'll be discussing effective ways to get rid of that heartburn fast, and if you stick with me until the end, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to help prevent getting heartburn in the future. First, no matter which of these natural treatments you decide to try, you should always get into an upright position to relieve the pressure on your stomach that can push its contents up into your esophagus. Stand up or at least sit up straight and loosen any tight clothing. Baking soda will neutralize the acid in your stomach, which can decrease the burning feeling in your esophagus. Mix one half teaspoon of baking soda in four ounces of warm water and drink this slowly. It tastes bad, but it works good. Be aware that you will only want to use this treatment occasionally as it can cause rebound production of acid. The acid in your stomach is there to digest your food and when it suddenly is neutralized, your stomach may produce more to get that food digested. So this may be very effective in the short term, but you may be back to square one in a couple of hours. Also baking soda contains a lot of sodium. So if you have congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, or are pregnant, this is not a treatment you want to try. If you're experiencing heartburn, especially if accompanied by nausea, a nice cup of ginger tea may be just the thing. Ginger has been used for thousands of years to treat many kinds of stomach problems, including nausea, bloating, and heartburn. Heartburn occurs when pressure in the stomach causes the contents to back up into the esophagus. Ginger helps shorten the time it takes for the food to move out of the stomach and into the small intestine. Emptying your stomach relieves the pressure, which relieves the heartburn. However, drinking too much ginger tea can cause heartburn, so limit your ginger tea to two or three times a day. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, you take blood thinners, or if you're pregnant or nursing, check with your physician before taking medicinal amounts of ginger. It shouldn't make sense that drinking an acid would decrease heartburn, but the lower esophageal sphincter is a muscle at the bottom of the esophagus that clamps down and prevents the contents of the stomach from backing up and causing heartburn. This LES is triggered by acid, so it tightens when it comes into contact with acid. Mix one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and one cup of warm water and drink this to relieve your heartburn. If you're learning something new, please hit that like button. If your heartburn includes bloating or gas in your stomach, you may want to try chewing a half teaspoon of fennel seed or making a cup of fennel seed tea. Fennel seed has been used since ancient times to relieve gas and bloating that it can cause the contents of your stomach to back up into your esophagus. Because of the estrogen effects when taken in large doses, if you have had breast cancer or on birth control tablets, you should steer clear of fennel seed. Also, fennel may increase your milk supply. So if you are trying to wean your baby, don't drink fennel seed tea. Consult your physician if you're trying to increase your milk supply as too much may cause harm to your child. As always, if you're pregnant or nursing, if you use prescription medications or have a chronic health condition, always check with your healthcare provider to make sure any herb you are interested in using is safe for your particular circumstance. As stated before, heartburn happens when the contents of the stomach backs up into the esophagus and literally burns the lining of the esophagus. While your stomach produces mucus to protect itself against the acids necessary to digest your food, particularly proteins, the esophagus doesn't have this protection. When you eat too much in one sitting, when you eat foods that can produce a lot of gas, such as high fiber foods you aren't used to, or if you frequently take antacids to decrease the acidity, which can relax the lower esophageal sphincter, food is allowed to back up. If you overeat or if your clothing is too tight, it can put pressure on the stomach, causing backup. So now that you have relieved your heartburn, how can you prevent it in the future? Eat small, frequent meals. Do not lie down for one to two hours after eating. Go for a walk, but do not do strenuous exercise. 
A leisurely walk after meals, especially large meals, can help you digest your food more efficiently and get it moving out of your stomach and on through your digestive tract. This relieves the pressure on your stomach. If you have problems at night, raise the head of your bed six to eight inches so gravity can help you keep the stomach contents in your stomach. If you're overweight, lose weight. The pressure on your stomach from the excess weight can push your stomach contents back up into your esophagus. Wear looser clothing. You'll be more comfortable and less likely to experience heartburn. Stop smoking. Smoking is bad for you for many reasons, including it can cause heartburn by decreasing the strength of the LES, decreasing saliva production that contains a natural antacid designed to protect your esophagus from stomach acid, and stimulating bile production, which makes the digestive fluids in your stomach more potent and causing more damage to the esophagus. Just stop. If you have frequent heartburn, you need to see your doctor to have it evaluated and see if you have a serious problem that needs to be addressed. In the meantime, there are some foods that are known to cause heartburn that you will probably want to avoid until you get to the bottom of the problem. Mint, fatty foods, spicy foods, Coffee, chocolate, alcohol, garlic and onions, and acidic foods have all been associated with increased acid production and may be causing your heartburn. Also, carbonated beverages can cause burping that may open the LES and allow acid to enter the esophagus. Try cutting out all of these from your diet to see if the problem goes away. Then you may want to introduce them one at a time to find out what you need to always avoid. Everyone is different and everyone has different triggers, so what bothers your great Aunt Geraldine may not be the same thing that bothers you. If you found this information helpful but want more information on natural ways to keep yourself healthy, click here. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to get rid of that painful heartburn. Stay healthy, don't overeat, and have a blessed week.